This is a video demonstration of the Chatham County Comparable Sales web mapping application. Upon entering the application, you're greeted with a splash screen that contains links to the 2021 countywide revaluation website, as well as detailed release notes regarding this application. Once you read the message here, you can click this box and click I accept to enter. This application displays property sales within Chatham County that have occurred since January 1st of 2019 and January 1st of 2021. And those sales are colored based upon if they're residential, commercial, or another property type, and based upon if they're improved or vacant. They're also displayed in this table below. By default, this table filters the records that are shown based upon what is viewed on the map. So as you zoom to an area, the table only reflects the sales that are viewable. And you can toggle off this feature by clicking filter by map, map extent. So now all of the sales that are shown in the application are shown in the below table. And you can filter these based upon various values, such as sales amount. So let's filter based upon sales that are only or that are at least $150,000. And you can add as many filters as you like. And to clear the filters, you just click this X. You can also sort based upon certain fields. Lastly, you can export this to a CSV format, and that's viewable in Microsoft Excel. The upper left-hand corner contains a few widgets that help you to navigate the application. Uh, using this search widget, you can zoom to a parcel ID or an address or a subdivision of interest. Using this layer list widget, you can toggle on and off certain layers of interest. There's also a base map gallery widget, and this allows you to view different aerial uh, photography in the county, as well as other base maps that we have available. There's also a print widget, which allows you to export the current map view to a PDF document. As you zoom to an area of interest, the sales amounts will populate onto the map. And the further you zoom in, you'll get a little bit more detail, including the sales date. To view all the information about a sale, you can simply click the property. This will po populate a pop-up with property information, sales information, as well as our current parcel information. This includes a link to the property record card, a tax photo directory, and some other useful um, links as well. So to better understand your tax appraisal value, it's useful to look for comparable sales within the general area surrounding a property. The easiest way to do that on the application is to use the highlight comparable sales tool in the upper right hand corner. Using this tool, you can search for comparable sales using our default definition of a comparable sale. And that is a property that is within 25% of the subject property's acreage. For improved properties, the structure is built within 15 years of the subject's main structure. It's within 25% of the same square footage, has plus or minus one bedroom and bathroom, and is within one mile of the subject property. For vacant properties, Comparable sales are within five miles of the subject property. So to search for comparable sales using this basic definition, you simply can enter the property address or the parcel ID number of a property of interest. So this now displays on the map and it populates the legend with the results of the analysis.
So it's drawing a one mile buffer here and it's searching within this area based upon the parameters that we just went over. Comparable sales are highlighted on the map. A property with multiple comparable sales has a green box around it and a property with recent comparable sales since 630 of 2020 has a pink box around it. So this is a good way to get an understanding of your tax value. You can also explore results in the table at the bottom by clicking the three dots next to comparable sales and clicking view in attribute table. And this gives you a tabular view of all the comparable sales that it found. And it does filter by the map extent, so you may want to toggle that off to view all of the comparable sales. So it found 268 comparable sales um, to our subject property. You can also view basic statistics. So this would be a good idea to understand the value. You can look at the sales amount and the average sales amount within comparable sales of this property was $397,000. You can also export this to CSV format, which is viewable in Microsoft Excel. Once you complete that analysis, it's recommended that you clear the layers by clicking the X. And that will help to clean up the map for exploring the other tools available on the app. To customize the parameters of the comparable sales analysis tool, you can use the highlight comparable sales advanced tool. And this allows you to run the same analysis, but tweak some of the parameters that are used to identify comparable sales. So here you just enter the subject property address or the parcel ID number. And then you can enter various parameters here. And since these are range values, you need to separate the values with a hyphen. So here I am expanding um, some of the potential results by loosening up some of the parameters of the analysis. Another cool feature of this tool is being able to define a custom market area. So instead of just using a one mile buffer around this improved property, we can actually draw a shape um, to include sales from other parts of the county. So we can zoom out and use this tool to draw a shape or any of these other tools that are available here. So we will provide a rather large market area for this particular search. This really helps to expand results for unique properties. Um, it's also very useful for large vacant properties. So now we can zoom in and view the sales that were returned by the analysis. And in similar fashion to the other tool, we can look at the uh, table as well, as well as look at statistics, uh, including uh, the average sale price. A quick and intuitive way to view all of the sales that have occurred on a property within the last few years is to use the property sales history tool. And here you can enter an address or a property uh, parcel ID number. To view the sales that have occurred on the property that we're displaying on the application. So this is similar to just clicking the sale, but it's a little bit uh, easier to navigate. Also available in the upper right hand corner are the property sales criteria filters. This is a great way to just kind of zoom out and explore sales of interest. So let's say that we only want to look at residential sales that are improved. 
and we want to look at sales within a custom date range. So let's go August 1st of 2020 through January 1st of 2021. And as a reminder, uh, only sales from 1-1-2019 through 1-1-2021 are viewable on this application. So we can turn that on now as well. And let's say that we also want to only look at sales within a certain subdivision. So these are the sales uh, improved residential sales uh, between August 1st of 2020 and 1-1 of 2021 within Powell Place. And as a reminder, um, if this, if you expand this table, you can export these to a spreadsheet format. I'm going to toggle the, those filters off. It's always good to remove those filters after you're finished viewing um, those specific sales. So in similar fashion to the filters, you can also use this property sales search to really hone in on um, a lot of the same parameters. But here we can set various parameters that we're interested in. So these will be sales between 200 and 400,000 um, of properties that are between 2,000 and 4,000 square feet. Um, and we can add as many parameters as we like here as well. And we can also draw a shape on the map to filter them as well. This freehand polygon is a really useful tool for quickly drawing a shape. So this highlights all of these sales in red, and you can click through here to navigate to them. Or you can simply pan the map and click these sales as well. For general usage information, you can use the application usage guide available on the application itself. And this goes through many of the things that I've talked about in this video. And it also links to our application release notes, which have even more detail about how these um, various tools work and the data that is shown on the application.